Welcome back to A Closer Look. If you're just joining me today, my guest is Margaret Counts with Contact 211, and we're talking about what that is. And in case you haven't learned about it, now's your chance. So Contact 211 has a big fundraiser or two mm -hmm. every year, and you have one coming up. It's your second biggest mm -hmm. fundraiser, but it's coming up. Tell me about it. It's going to be on Friday, June 15th, so it's coming up in just a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. And it is a dinner theater that's an interactive play. It's a murder mystery. And because it's an interactive play, the audience actually gets to help participate and solve the murder. Oh, I love those. I've been to that once or yeah. twice before. I really like that. That's it's, fun. It's a lot of fun. It's called Murder at the High School Reunion. <laughs> and uh, we're going to be, the audience will be part of the class of 1968 that comes together for their 50th class oh. reunion and have a great time, all fun and games, until somebody sh shows up dead. And so we have to figure out what happened. Um, I hate it when that happens. Yeah, exactly. And this is at <laughs> the... Uh, sort of uh, fictional school of Frog Pond. So uh, everybody's coming together to celebrate uh, Frog Pond memories from 50 years ago and then surprise, surprise. Yeah. And the play is done by the Off Broad Street Players and uh, they, that's a group here in Kingsport that has oh, come okay. together as amateur actors and yes. uh, they do a great job. And, mm -hmm. and actually Judy Womack was with that group, wrote the play. Oh, wow. And it's an evening of dinner and wine and theater for $50 a person. So, and that's to benefit Contact 211. And where's it located? Did it's you located say? at St. Paul's Episcopal Church. Okay. On Watauga? It's, it's on Ravine and Watauga. Ravine and Watauga. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a beautiful church. Yeah, it is. It's a very, it's a great location for us. So how many people can fit in the venue or how many are you trying to, we're, to get? We'd like to get about 80 people. Mm -hmm. And we've had a little bit more than that. We've had fewer than that, but but uh, we welcome anybody who who wants to have a good, fun evening and do do good at the same time. Yes. So, do you still have tickets available? We do. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, what's the menu? Well, I can't tell you that yet because it hadn't been finally oh. decided. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always like, okay, what's for dinner? <laughs> but it'll be good. I promise you that. I'm sure it will be. So, how long is the play? It lasts. Uh, it's usually in four acts and it lasts for the, the event starts at six o'clock and the curtain is actually 630 and it goes until about nine o'clock. Okay, so a fun evening. Mm -hmm. What day of the week does that fall on? It's a Friday. It's a Friday night. Mm -hmm. So that sounds like a good idea. Yeah. How can people get tickets? Well, the best way, you can get tickets by calling 211, but the best way is to call directly to 530-6335. 530-6335. Six three three five. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or you can get the the tickets on the internet if you go to eventbrite.com and just search for uh, murder mystery or uh, eventbrite.com. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Murder mystery high school reunion. Yeah, exactly. Like okay. Well, that sounds fun. It's a fun evening. We've been doing it for several years in a row, and everybody loves it. They just have such a great time, even if they come in hesitant and think, well, you know, I don't want to be part of this. I'm too shy and everything. Mm -hmm. But uh, the actors give us an opportunity. They'll pick several people from the audience to uh, have a small role in the, in the play. Oh, fun. And uh, then at the end, uh, all of the tables together will act as a team and try to solve the mystery and figure out what they think. And uh, there are little little prizes for the table that wins. Oh, good. Oh, I want to go. It's I'm going to have to get tickets. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Take a friend or two. It'll be a good time. So what is your other event that you guys Well, on? historically, we've done a hoedown in the fall. Really? It's it's great fun. It's another, another opportunity for an evening out. Uh, with dinner and music and dancing and an auction. And uh, this year we're, we're gonna change that up a little bit and have an Oktoberfest. Um, oh. But it'll be the same type of thing. We'll have an auction, we'll have dinner, we'll have music. And uh, we haven't settled on the venue yet, but um, it's gonna be an exciting thing. We're thinking about having it at an event barn around here. Um, last year we had the event at The Social and we've had it in different barns out in the county. So Well, doesn't Allendale have that like pavilion? They do. That's mm -hmm. and that's one fun. of the places we're looking at. Oh, that'd be fun, Oktoberfest. Yeah. So with beer and different beers mm -hmm. and things like that, because that's so popular now, yeah, all these IPAs mm -hmm. and craft beers and things like that. Mm -hmm. A hoedown. Yeah. Well, you guys are fun. Yeah, we, we like our fundraising events to be fun events too. Yes, fun, fund. Exactly. Event, 
Well, we put the fun and fundraiser. Thank you. I was trying to say, <laughs> how can I say this? Fun, fun, the fun and fundraiser. Wow. And what I like okay. about I it is, tired. Is, is, as I said earlier, you have a good time, but you're doing something good at the same time. It's mm -hmm. for a good cause. Are those your two big events every mm -hmm. year? Okay. And those are the two. Those are the two are the only two fundraising events we do because we don't want to wear people out with one event after another. But I'm sure so. if somebody came along and said, hey, Margaret, I've got the spare, you know, $500, would you like it? You'd probably take it. Oh, absolutely, you bet. <laughs> Every contribution means a lot to us and we can make a little bit go a long way. So it doesn't matter the size of the contribution. Okay, because you guys have connections mm -hmm. and you've got people that work along with beside you to help it right. come to fruition. Now, is there a way someone can give a donation on your website? Mm -hmm. Okay. You can go to our website, which is www.contact211netn.org. So that stands for Northeast Tennessee. So it's contact211netn.org. Okay. That's good to know. Yeah. And again, so contact concern. Mm -hmm is the number that anybody can just pick up their phone call 211 and say listen um i have a friend mm -hmm. that just lost their home or somebody their their breadwinner just died in the family and they don't know where to go mm -hmm. to get resources your job is y'all tell me whoever calls where we can find these resources yes generally we ask the person the individual to call themselves Okay, um, but, but I mean, I could call if I could call. just said, mm -hmm. is this the number someone yes, should call absolutely. in this situation? Mm -hmm. and, okay. And it's easy to remember, as you said earlier, it's like 911, uh, except we're not emergency services, uh, although try telling the people that's in a circumstance like that, it's not an emergency. Yes. If you're looking for food or for your family or you're looking for housing immediately, those are emergencies, but we don't it's help not with medical emergency emergencies. emergency responders. So exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, you know, the fire and the right. police and such. Well, what else can you tell me about Contact 211 that we haven't talked about yet? Well, we talked about briefly, but one of the things I like to talk about is our reassurance program. Okay. Where, again, we call people that are seniors or disabled who live alone, and our volunteers make that call every day at an agreed upon time. Um, and we call just to make sure they're okay. And um, our volunteers love making those calls because they, de they develop a relationship over sure. time with the individual and, and they're, they're so grateful for the service. And not only are the individuals grateful, but their family members who may live elsewhere really appreciate the reassurance that they get from knowing someone's checking in on their loved one every day. And if, if we don't reach the person at the right time, then we, we call back three times. And if we mm -hmm. still can't get them, we call uh, the backup number that they provided, some, a backup contact. Mm -hmm. And if that person is not able to help, then we call law enforcement to have them do a well check. Very good. Well, I bet some of these families that you call, these individuals mm -hmm. that you call, probably look forward to that call every day, they too. They do, and that's I one of the reasons. I bet a lot of people are a little lonely. One of the reasons our volunteers love it so much is because it really brightens the day of that person. Very often, in fact, I would say the majority of the times, um, our volunteer is the only person they talk to all day long. I would imagine so. Either so, that or they're getting telemarketing calls, which oh. is just an aggravation, so. But shut-ins, it's hard for them to get out. Mm-hmm. And a lot of older people don't know how to use the computer very right, well. exactly. So they feel kind of cut off. Mm -hmm. So this is very important when yeah. you're doing this service. It's, it's a not great a small service. thing. No, it's not. And we have one client in particular who, uh, when the person will call and they'll say, how are you doing today? And she'll say, well, I'm doing fine, but I don't want to talk about me. Let's talk about you. How are you doing Aww. today? <laughs> she just wants to, you know, right. make just friends. Wants well, I bet you're always looking for volunteers. We are. And we how can we need get volunteers involved? desperately. And if you have about eight hours a month that you can give, uh, we really appreciate any volunteers. Uh, anybody from age 19 and over can be trained. And uh, we're fortunate now that we have a system where once you've been trained, as long as you have a computer and a phone, you can work from anywhere. And we ask our volunteers to give us uh, the equivalent of two shifts a month, and a shift is usually four hours, mm -hmm. although we have, uh, we have the opportunity to break that down into two-hour increments. Um, and um, 
the training that we provide, we do on an as needed basis. So we fit your schedule. It's not something where you have to have a certain, a class of a certain number or it only is available a certain day of the week mm -hmm. or whatever. We work around your schedule to provide the training. And the training probably doesn't take a really long time. No, it's, it's just it's learning how to find this exactly. information. Mm -hmm. And how to, how to write, ask the right questions. We teach ah. what we call active listening. So okay. rather than me telling my own story when I answer the phone, I need to be listening and probing and asking the right questions to find out what the caller really needs. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when people call us, they um, aren't really sure what they need. They know what they're lacking, but they don't know what to ask for. Right. Or they, had, they call for one thing, but in talking with them, we realize there are other ways we can help them as well. And so if somebody wants to volunteer, mm -hmm. again, they, just they can just call 211. Yeah. That is so easy to remember. It is easy. That I makes know. it nice. I know. Well, let's go over this one more time, the event coming up. So it's June 15th, Friday night, $50. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's dinner, wine, entertainment, fun. It's a good evening of friendship, fellowship, and entertainment. Murder at the High School Reunion, a murder mystery. Yes. And everybody gets to try to figure out who done it. That's right, exactly. That sounds fun. And if they want to get tickets, all they have to do is call 530-6335. Or go online. Mm -hmm. For eventbrite.com. Eventbrite.com. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Thank you so much, Margaret, for joining me today. We learned a lot today about no, Contact and Stern, great. and I think I just learned two new events that I want to start going to. Yes, the Murder Mystery and the Hoedown coming that's up right. in the fall. Well, it's going to be an Oktoberfest this year. Yes. Well, that was fantastic to learn all this information. Thank you so much for coming. You Thank were a you pleasure. for having me. I appreciate it. And we'll see you again next week, same place, same time, with another exciting edition of a closer look. Thank you for joining me.